Hello fellow paranormalers. <clears throat> Today is the 17th of November 2014. It's a bit like saying star date. You know, whatever. <laughs> it's quite interesting. But I think it's important to actually document these things. That's why I always say the date. Um, a sort of a follow-on really, a, a subject again for discussion. And I'm sure other paranormalers are, or have experienced the same thing. It, it kind of borders on my previous video about the frustrations of, of doing paranormal work. Um, and I, don't, I would welcome actually some people who have got maybe an answer or maybe some guidance or experience that they've had or you know whatever. But anyway, having done this session this morning and got well over 70 EVPs, some a personal message and also some you know other various bits and pieces, messages and such like. My kind of thoughts today are about the messaging, asking for messages. Now the message that I got for me was really directed at me. I mean they even you know I they even mentioned my father's name which, you know, I mean, <laughs> you, can't, you can't fake that, uh, you know, and, um, uh, and they even called him Mr. and his surname, which was quite interesting. So, I think there's a couple of things, a couple of things, again, following on the sort of the frustration theme a little bit, that if somebody's got any answers to this, that'd be really useful. The one is asking for people's names, you know, the spirits' names. Now, I don't, I don't really understand why they can't tell you what their name is. And I don't know whether it's because they don't have a name, or they've forgotten their name, maybe. That could be an answer, or a reason. Um, maybe names don't matter in the spirit world. But then it comes to my second point is, if they want us to pass messages on to people, it's very difficult to find out who it's for and who it's come from if you don't have the name. Um, and it kind of brings me to watching spiritualists and spirit mediums on TV. Now, I've always taken a lot of what they do with a pinch of salt, to be honest. but. They, all, they, they never really say who is speaking to them. Or well, sometimes they do, but most of the time they don't. They really just say, is there someone here, you know, who knows X, yeah? They don't know who they're addressing. You know, it could be Joe Bloggs. And then, of course, somebody pipes up and says, oh, I, you know, I, I know blah, 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 Mrs. Bloggs, or whatever. And, and, and the, you know, the session continues on. Um, I guess in a way what I'm trying to say is I find it a little bit frustrating when you ask for their name and they don't tell you or they only give you a first name. You know, like Bob or Fred or um, you know, I mean I've had Samantha, I've had Catherine I've had, you know, all, all sorts, uh, li li um, I Irene, Eileen or Irene, and, and names like that, you know? I mean, you can't fake stuff like that. This is what always fascinates me. But you don't get a surname, you know? That's, that's the frustrating thing. And then when you ask for, uh, you know, is there anyone here that would like to leave a message for someone? Sometimes you just get a message and you don't know who it's for. You know, you have no idea. So, you, you, one, you don't know who it's from, or it's from Bob, and then you don't get told who it's for. <coughs> so, maybe I'm doing something wrong. Um, I'm not, I've never been, if you like, a channeler, so I don't really know what the right protocol is. Maybe there isn't one. Maybe I should just say, well, I have, you see. I've said, you know, what is your name and who is the message for? You know, and you know, I don't get anything. And 
very often I get messages and I kind of, you have a gut feeling that this is a message for someone. Uh, like one time I got a message for someone and it was, I believe it was for Christine and it said, you know, tell her we love her or tell her we miss her. And uh, I didn't know who it was from. All I got the name was Christine. It's kind of not enough information. I mean, there's probably millions of Christines. And I don't personally know any Christine. I mean, I've, you know, I've, I've known of Christine. You know, some people called Christine, but I wouldn't know that that message was for them. So it's difficult. It's difficult, especially if you don't know who it came from. So yeah, I mean, it's, it'll be interesting to hear if anyone else has had sort of similar experiences and find out, um, you know, what you've what you've actually done to <coughs> sort of resolve that, or maybe there just isn't a way. Maybe they just feel happy in giving out their message, but it's not really directed at anyone specific. I don't know. I don't know, it's, it's, it's interesting. Anyway, I welcome your input and uh, certainly any discussions about today's subject. Okay, thank you very much for watching and I look forward to your comments below. See you soon.